so somebody in the thread relating to this to this object here mentioned that you cannot ground in semi, and that is often repeated, and it's uh, it's wrong every time. You can ground in assembly, and I'll get to that. Um, but before you get there, there are a few things that you have to know. So let me first hide this here. So that statement seemed to be backed by the fact that you actually imported this assembly or component group, as that's called in Fusion 360, or linked component group, if you will. And you grounded it, but you still can move these components around as you wish. And um, that seemed to back this uh, statement, but it still is not true. So let me go to this polar refractor lens assembly, this here, and I've opened it up. And what you did, you imported the polar triplet lens and then grounded it. And then you imported the polar triplet lens cell and moved it and then ground it. And that is something that I would strictly avoid. No mechanical assembly such as this one should actually have a uh, position capture feature in it. And then you imported the third component and you joined it with a rigid joint to, I believe, that second component. Let's take a look at the joint. Yeah, that's the polar cell tube interface, and that's this one. So, and then uh, you saved it and you inserted it in here, and you know, and you can move components around. And when you do so, you get these um, you get these icons here. So I revert that um, location here, that position. So why is that? So the first thing that you have to understand is that, and that's different from other CAT systems. By default subcomponents are floating, meaning when you ground this and none of this is joined in here, they're floating. You can just pull them around. Um, unless, and we get to that now, unless they reference the top level origin. See, if, um, if you turn this origin on, you saw it just highlighting there and I pull these components away. You see that origin, the origin of the polar refractor lens assembly is still at the spot and you can't move it because it is in fact actually grounded. It's just all these subcomponents aren't grounded. You grounded them in this assembly, but grounding is only local to that particular assembly, right? It's local to this design here. When you insert it, that grounding is gone. So. You grounded this component, but the others are floating. So what does grounding actually do? Grounding, grounding just locks the origin of that particular component or component group in space. That means this component group here, that container is locked in place, but the part in that container, the parts in that container are not locked in place. So what do we do about that? So. What I usually do, if I know that I'm going to build a sub-assembly that I'm going to use in another assembly, then instead of grounding this, if I want this to be locked in place, I create a as-built joint between that component and the origin. And then that thing is locked in place. And by that, I also reference that top-level origin. Um, and that's the important thing. So then, in this case, you inserted another component, moved it, and then uh, grounded it. Um, again, I would not recommend this. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to turn on the origin, and then I'm going to turn on the top level origin, and I'm just going to measure the distance between those two. That is this plane, and that's that plane. So that looks, uh, that looks, a, little, that looks a little arbitrary. Click to copy to clipboard, that's what I'm going to do, click close and then I'm going to delete these two features and I'm going to join this component and I'm going to hide the lens to here and then I'm going to give that 
this minus control V offset. And then you insert that other component and join it. So maybe, um, I think, I put the offset into the wrong direction. Okay, that looks more reasonable. So now, uh, this component is assembled to this component, this component is assembled to this component, and this component, uh, that's the original rigid joint, is assembled to this origin. So now all origins are involved in a joint in this component. So if I save this now, and then update this here, Uh, discard an update. We can see that because you grounded that assembly, right? Meaning you grounded that origin, and now when I edited this file here, I referenced some of these components to each other and some component to the top level origin. Now you can ground an assembly and you cannot just move these components around. So that's how you ground an assembly. Um, I find that much more easy, uh, this workflow, because I can see at the top level what is grounded and what is not grounded, and I don't have to dig down in my subassembly tree to figure that out. Um, but then again, I only use grounding when I really work in my final assembly. So hopefully this helps.